On the table today, we have the new Lego Mixels from the new Cartoon Network show. Uh, this is Series 1, the Electroids, the Yellow Packs. Uh, I think they look pretty funny and zany out of all the characters, so I wanted to build them. We'll start with the first set here, Zaptor, and uh, each set runs from about 50 to 70 pieces, and they were about $4.99, something like that. I can't remember their price. Anyhow, let's check this out here. Nothing too fancy inside the bag. And we're going to get the little uh, Mixel instruction book on this guy, how to build like always. And a bunch of pieces and other characters to come. So that's pretty neat. There's gonna be a lot of these guys, it looks like. Lots of small grade pieces with these sets. So let's hyper build this one. And there we have Zaptor. Not bad, a pretty funny character. Uh, has those cool bug eyes, uh, simple movement in his hips and ankles or whatever those would be for this guy. Uh, shoulders back and forth, neat little small miniature hand, and this awesome cool electricity blast up top. Not bad, a fun little minifigure to build. I can't wait to build more. Next we have the Mixel. Tesla, maybe named after the great Nikolai Tesla, the inventor of alternating current electricity, maybe? Haha. <laughs> Anyhow, this guy has about 54 pieces, so the least amount of pieces. And there we go, much like the other set. One bag of miniature pieces, and I already see a couple cool pipes in there, and of course the instructions. So let's hyper build him up. And there we go, Teslo finished, and he comes with a little tiny companion dude. And uh, not too bad, I kind of like the first one better. Uh, but this one's not bad at all. I really, really like some of these simple eye pieces that are going on with these guys. And uh, the weapon, the double colored clear uh, uh, electrical weapon is nice. I haven't seen a pipe like this since my space set days. I mean, I know they've been around many, many times, but I haven't played with a set in such a long time with this piece. I'm just so reflecting on that. So that is Teslo. And thirdly, we have Electro to look at. A 70 piece, awesome looking, spiky hair creature. Let's get this guy going. And there we go with Velectro. Definitely my favorite, second favorite, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, pretty funny guy with the, uh, what, what do you want to call that, a tumbleweed on top of his head there. Uh, pretty funny. This guy has some articulated fingers, so that's kind of different out of the bunch. Uh, arms moving, elbows, uh, legs on the hips. Pretty funny guy. So when you put them all together, you got Velectro and you've got Zaptor. And you've got good old Teslo all together here. Not a bad little series of toys to be playing with. Uh, they're really funny and uh, clever guys. To build the combiner, the Electroids Max character, you take your three figures with their codes and head on over to lego.com and Mixels to find the instructions to build, I hope, I hope. Here is what happened when I built the guy.
And there we have the Electroids Max. Uh, pretty fun looking character. Uh, what you do is go online, like I said before, and there are downloadable PDFs for this guy that will show you how to build him. And as you can see, there's a lot of leftover pieces from your uh, Mixels. I thought maybe we would take use up most of them, but instead there looks like there's enough pieces for another uh, Electroids Max uh, version 2, I guess, if you're clever. Uh, but here's this guy, uh, pretty neat, I like him. He's got this killer, killer face going with this layered teeth, uh, bulging eyes, uh, electrical eyebrows, a sagebrush head, uh, rotating neck, uh, full 180, uh, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Uh, rotation, uh, kind of these silly bird arms. I think I was kind of bummed. I thought maybe we would see more of these pieces used in the arms, but hey, that's what you're for in Legos. You can customize. Uh, there's a tail on the back with all these blue lights uh, stacked together and um, legs on ball joints. Just a funny looking bird electroid creature. And that's why I picked up this set, just because he was funny and really cool looking. I don't think I'm going to leave him in this form though. I think I like the three uh, Mixel forms, uh, the basic Mixel forms better, uh, as they just have a lot more character working with each other. While this guy is awesome and cool, I would rather separate him into three again. But pretty fun to build. I am overall very impressed with my first go around with the Mixels. A pretty fun, cool little Lego toy that has hooked me again into buying probably more mini sets. I like these guys a lot. They're simple, they're really easy to build, they're very cute, uh, very funny looking, and I think you can have many, many hours of play and do lots of funny things, especially with their little eyeballs. That's what I have to say about that. Mix and mash your face, squirrel stampede.